All right, we are back on the Convergence mod, and today we are choosing the Dragon Cultist class, going with the Enchanted Remnant, and let's get into it. All right, we start in Limb Grave. We have this nice Dragon Cult armor. It's like a, a mix of like Melania. So the armor increases faith and increases casting speed. I'm a big fan of the quicker cast. We have the shield here. Our starting spells are Lightning Channel, Honed Bolt, Lightning Spear, and Electrify Armament. Release a short range burst of lightning from your hand. Hold to continue the effect. All right. Then we just have this armament here. Summons a bolt of lightning to strike foes from above. And then lightning spear, which is just a small projectile. All right. So the shimmering rune of lightning is in Morn Tunnel. The glowing rune of lightning is at the Draconic Tree Sentinel in the Altus Plateau. The shining rune is in the Lord Contender Everjail. And the radiant rune is in Pharaoh. Notable sets are the Malform dragon set and the Lindell knight set weapons we have godwin's crag blades glaive of the ancients dragon great claw gravelstone arc blades dragon king's crag blade bolt of grand sax veterans prosthesis dragon cult seal and dragon cult crest and i think they changed the dragon uh, great claw so it doesn't have such a bad um ash of war but yeah because we are in Limgrave, we are going to go gather up all of the sacred tears golden seeds and memory stones so we'll be back after that all right before we start fighting bosses i want to let you guys know that we do have merch now i've got merch we've got the long awaited jump hit merch as well as some cacti stuff you can use it while gaming you can use it while slaying your foes with jump hits jump hit merch does not come with helmet or sword be sure to check out curtis the cactus dot shop it will, it will be on screen now and it will also be in the first line of the description just check it out even if you don't buy anything it does mean a lot all right we are at morn tunnel where our first great rune is located i think we'll go grab the first two great runes and then we will go gather uh weapons as we make our way into lindell because i know there's a lot of cool ones over there see who we got in here also i changed my mic settings to try to stop it from peaking as much so hopefully that is working i uh, will try out the lightning spear first it has solid damage very quick to cast i like that uh how does home bolt work exactly okay it has a longer cast time can i charge it no decent damage and obviously you can do it from anywhere because it comes from above them so it's very consistent that way uh, i guess we'll try out the electric channel oh my god i feel like a, a superhero with that oh i just got absolutely owned yeah our most consistent damage will be oh my god that's in him flying the uh, lightning spear here it's just very strong for early game horn bolt will be good for um more stationary enemies or like from farther distances and this doesn't seem i mean this is good but the hit you have to be right inside of them to uh use it effectively but it, it does so much damage but yeah we i just came home from my concert so yesterday it was a lot of fun there is the shimmering rune of lightning let's see where this portal takes us oh castle morn um i don't think we need to be here i mean that's the claymore i'll pick it up just because i like the claymore but we're not gonna use it <laughs> all right let's pop that shimmering rune of lightning we have lightning strike dragon bolt blessing lightning orb and gathering current summons a large bolt of lightning that strikes foes from above um isn't that just this so is this just a better version if i had to guess dragon bolt blessing summons lightning that covers the caster's body reduces the fp cost of incantations by 15 percent, and increases casting speed by 30 that's one solid buff that's huge lightning orb hurls a large conjured orb of lightning at foes okay i mean yep checks out gathering current fires a small small projectile of lightning at foes that inflict inflicting them with curse upon impact lowers lightning absorption by 10 percent reduces the enemy's ability to block and deals a small amount of continuous lightning damage that's such a cool artwork oh i like that a lot um yeah it's a good spell as well but that artwork's sick we'll throw on lightning strike and the dragon bolt blessing and our next rune is actually behind the draconic tree sentinel so we'll go get this portal to head over to altus but yeah like i was saying i just got back from my concert and I actually had a lot of fun at the concert itself um it got delayed by a day which kind of 
sucks. Not really for me, but uh, for my friend that uh, had went with me because he had booked off the Monday and then he had to still, and he still ended up going. So that kind of that sucked for him. But uh, Drake made an appearance, which is kind of insane. Uh, it was a little Yachty concert for uh, those of you wondering, but I felt bad because early on people noticed Drake was above them because he was sitting in the rafters just above where me and Kyle were and every like five seconds people like I would see like at least three heads turn back and look up because everyone was so starstruck that uh, Drake was there. He did end up performing a few songs so that is an experience I will gladly take and yeah I overall just had a lot of fun. I'm always I always love going to concerts, so it was nice to finally uh, go out and go to one because the last one that we had booked got cancelled on us and uh, we went to Rolling Loud last year. Um, that was the first time I went to Canada and this year they cancelled on us, which kind of sucked. Uh, so that was probably my only concert for the year. Hopefully next year I have better luck. I probably should just get my passport so I could leave Canada to uh, watch concerts, but what it is what it is. Well, yeah, let's head over to Altus. All right, now I'm gonna be 100% honest. I am not killing this guy legit. We are using Buckler's Parry to cheese the crap out of the Draconic Tree Sentinel. Using lightning damage on that guy is pure pain. But yeah, uh, we did have some minor travel issues going to the concert. We decided to take a train just in case we decided to drink and whatnot. We didn't want to uh, <laughs> be driving under the influence. So trained and uh, they were having issues with the trains that day. I'm not exactly sure what the issues were, but... Oh, nice. Oh, come on, fall. Oh, that's huge. First try, there we go. All right, but yeah, like I was saying, the the trains ha were delayed due to some issue. I'm not too sure what exactly was going on with them. So we were supposed to be there at seven, like that's when the concert was supposed to start. But we got to the like train station at five something, I want to say. We didn't end up getting to the actual concert until like 7.20. Like we got off our train around like 6.45 and then we had to walk all the way to the actual arena. So we did that. That was fine. Not too problematic because they ended up delaying the concert a little bit anyways due to like the travel issues which was very 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 nice but going home kind of sucked because concert didn't end until 11 and the last train to our knowledge was supposed to run at 11 40 so we're like oh shoot we gotta gotta leave so we started heading towards the train and then we see a train like going towards the stop so we start full on booking it. Like felt like I was back doing track in high school. I was just, we just booked it, gave it our all, but we didn't realize from where we were, we would have to run all the way to the station, go underground, bring up above ground to the other side to get on the train. So we didn't end up making it. And we were like, oh shoot, is that the last train? Luckily there was one more that was supposed to come at like 12 and then show up to like 12.30. So that kind of sucked didn't get home till like 2 30 in the morning but i had lots of fun so that's all that really matters enough about my concert let us let's pop this glowing rune of lightning we got ancient honed bolts ancient lightning stake ancient lightning beacon and electrocution i assume the red lightning is just superior to the normal lightning summons a red bolt of lightning to strike foes from above this incantation can be cast repeatedly so it's just it's just directly honed bolt but better ancient lightning stake creates a spear of red lightning stabs into the ground on impact the spear will burst into trails of lightning covering the area then we have ancient lightning beacon fires a focused orb of red lightning towards forward in front of the caster any enemy near this floating orb will take continuous lightning damage i like that release a large burst of red lightning from your hand it's just a better version of that solid and the highest so far is 35 faith i think right now we'll go gather all of the weapons we just got the dragon great claw which has the ash of or stone storm of the ancients which i assume is different so we'll see if they change that when we have the requirements for it three of our weapons are in lindell so time for me to get searching all right we got godwin's crag blades which is a twin blade i have been after ever since i first saw it in the mod this thing is looks crazy give me that thank you there we go the dragon cult seal which will be replacing our other seal once we get the 35 faith for it and then the bolt of grand sax is post secure we'll head to the windham catacombs all right we are at the windham catacombs we'll throw on the lightning strike lightning orb and gathering current grab this 
nice combat remnant. Oh uh, yeah, we got the burial watchdog, the lightning one. Makes sense. We'll use the lightning strike here. <laughs> Holy. That has such an effect to it. Not great damage, but I assume it has like, it has good AOE, right? So if you're uh, dealing with multiple enemies, definitely the spell to go. I will right, we'll use our lightning orb. That's exactly what he is using. <laughs> nice. I, I like the animation for that. Uh, we'll give him gathering current, and we'll want to keep that applied for every uh, every fight. Yeah, we'll trade those hits. We're gaining. There's some lightning spears. He moves a lot, so <laughs> it's very easy to miss spells on him because he is going up all the time. And we will just shred him with the lightning channel. That's probably... I can't wait to use the, the better version of that because it's going to be so good. Oh, okay, I'm glad that connected. Okay, we got him here, right? Surely. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Uh... Alright, you're done. There we go. That gives us the Gravelstone Arc Blades. Oh, my God. <laughs> These things are massive. That is so sick. 30 strength, 30 faith. Honestly worth it. I think I'm happy with those weapons and then we'll buy the Crag Blade after we beat Placuta Sacks. But having these two weapons is going to be super cool to finally use. All right. So now we are going to take care of Grail and then cheese the Knight's Calvary. Um, this Grail is going to take a long time, but that's okay. And then we'll go after the next rune. There we go. Oh, I forgot to pop this. All right, so we need 30 strength. All right, we'll bring our faith up to 25 and start leveling up our strength. And that does give us access to Godwin's Crag Blades. And now we will go cheese the Knight's Calv. There we go. Goodbye, my friend. And thank you for the rune. All right, we will level up our mind to 19. And now we have access to the ancient honed bolt and the lightning stake. So we'll throw both of those on. Call the thunder, lift the twin blade into the air to imbue it with lightning, increasing lightning infinity damage for a short time. Well affected, perform a heavy attack to call thunderbolts down upon foe and follow up to fire a lightning spear towards foe. So we have... That hits you with lightning, and then you can throw a spear off. All right, now it's time to head over to the mountaintops. All right, the Lord's Contenders Ever Jail. We have to take on Vike, and we're going to be using the Call to Thunder Ash of War. See what it does exactly. Let's use this. Okay. Okay, it does serious. Oh my god. We just got one shot. Okay, we have to play distance with Vike. Okay, we'll try out the Ancient Hone Bolt. Okay, good damage. Spam it a couple times, force him to roll around. He's doing good damage. Uh, but he still just one shots me. All right, this is going to be a tedious fight. <laughs> the thing that launches him. Hold on, we use this near him? Boom, we can't do anything. For the most part, we are just going to be applying the current and then just kiting. All right, we're going to pop all of our runes and put it into HP and hopefully he will no longer one shot us because that's all I really need <laughs> is being able to live ahead and then I can just kite him infinitely. Right now it's just so annoying because if I make if I make any mistake, I just die and uh i don't really feel like playing like that right now all right we will level up our vigor up to 28 also do some remnant crafting so we'll grab this for we'll grab the two finger heirloom and then we'll throw on the lightning damage negation boost all right hopefully we live a hit now okay let's see if we can eat a regular hit oh, okay we do live one okay i learned if i just attack i'm just gonna just gonna win because we attack so fast with this weapon and it's doing crazy good damage. One, two. Okay, we, we can formula him. One, two. One, two. And then he'll go for those swings. Oh, okay, we just can't make too many mistakes like that. One, two. Boom, boom. 
Okay, jump hit. Trying to make sure he's always slowly chipping away. If he can cooperate with me here. All right, and we should be able to finish Vike here. There we go. That one was a little annoying, but it was just because we were super underleveled for that fight. We should get a good amount of ribbons here. Yeah, 75k. That's nice. Honestly surprised that uh, that Vike's armor set isn't a part of uh, what we're going for here. All right, we'll bring our vigor up to 30, our mind up to 20. Now, I think before we get the uh, Radiant Rune, we'll start fighting some bosses. Like, let's go take on Margit real quick. All right let's pop our shining rune of lightning we got the ancient lightning strike ancient lightning spear vikes dragon bolt and time warp that looks cool summons a large bolt of red lightning that strikes foes from above just a better version of our lightning bolt this is a better version of our lightning spear summon red lightning to cover the caster's body increase all lightning damage you deal by five percent reduce the fp cost of incantations by 25 percent and increase casting speed by 30 all right and it doesn't stack with the other one which is good to know using the power the caster bends time around themselves restoring a hundred percent of hp and stamina however the damage you deal is reduced by 95 percent for 30 seconds that's actually really cool because i could just kite that time away like that we have a full heal anytime we want which is sick 46 faith though it's quite a bit all right we'll slap on the electrocution the ancient lightning beacon lightning stake Honed Bolt, Lightning Spear, Dragon Bolt, Blessing, and then the Gathering Current. And we'll go take out Margit and Godric real quick before we make our way over to Ferrum for the final rune. All right, we can now use the Dragon Cult Seal, which is nice. We will level that up after we t defeat Margit. We're just trying to see how that raw damage does. We will buff ourselves up here, give Margit the current. We'll use Call the Thunder, and let's see how this does. So, we got that attack, which we can't really be interrupted on, into a poke. Okay, we are on not real HP. Jump hit. Let's see how the new version... Oh my god, that's so much brighter. Okay, that's a lot bigger. It's like a whole spectacle now. We'll try out the, the beacon. Oh, that is so cool. That did 400 just from like passing by. Can we get it to be stationary? Like if I throw it on the ground here, will it just stay there? No, it's always moving. Okay. That is a little bit less cool than uh, I anticipated, but that is fine, honestly. Still a cool spell nonetheless. All right, let's hit him with the stake. Direct impact, 412, not bad at all. Make sure to constantly hit him with the gathering current. We'll hit some hone bolts here. One, two, three, four. Wow, he, he threw there, honestly. Like, he, I shouldn't have gotten away with all that. Boom, 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 boom. And electrocution time. Dude, that melts. That, that does so much. Oh, I guess the beacon would be really good against some bigger bosses, honestly. Um, Cause it will have to travel through all of them. So like Plasudisax, for example, obviously he's gonna resist it, but that'll be huge. I was too focused on speaking. And if you wanna slowly walk towards me, I will gladly abuse you, Margaret. Boom. Okay. And GG, my friend, you are dead. The ancient hone bolt is so good. And there is another memory stone, which is huge. All right, let's take on Godric. I think Godric will have uh, more opportunities to uh, go for electrocution. That eats FP though. Like it's a really good attack, don't get me wrong, but it just shreds your FP bar so quickly. So when I, uh, when I put more mind on, Oh, it's going to go so hard. Because it's doing like 100 per second. Like, it's crazy damage. Alright, let's go for some melee here. Go for this. Nice. Follow it up. Get the poke in. Huge. Wow, I'm surprised he didn't even hit me there at all. Jump hit. Nice. Boom, 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 boom. Ow. Jump hit, good poise break. We'll get that off here. Nice damage. I think we're getting close to a phase shift. Make sure to reapply the current. Oh, he's moving too much. There we go. Oh, that was enough to uh, phase shift him. We'll use the uh, lightning stake right inside of him. There we go. Nice. I wonder how the range is on this. 
Boom. Okay, that doesn't connect, so it does have a shorter range. I have a feeling once we get access to the spear, it'll become our best spell. Let's throw the beacon on him. Watch it go. That thing is very underwhelming. It's very funny, but it's very underwhelming. Get nice close, get some ancient stakes here. Oh, okay, never mind. My bad. Okay, let's go for some more electrocution. This thing's just super fun to use. Oh my gosh. All right, nice poise break. Boom. Dude, I love the freaking heavy attack on this weapon. Jump. Like, it just feels so good to just slam into the, the big lightning poke. Oh, oh wow, we actually survived that. I was gonna say, we're gonna get hit here for sure. Oh, we got, we got gripped though. Let me go. Oh, I'm totally cooked. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, uh, oh no, oh no, please don't cook me. Okay, okay, we love it. Go for this, nice. Jump, hit. Okay, that is not ideal. Currently out of healing. Jump, hit. Nice, stay close. Get some nice hits in here. Back up. Fire this off. Okay. I think we got it here. Jump, hit into a poise break to finish off Godric. That one was actually a lot tougher, especially without having uh, upgraded my uh, weapons at all. That one was, it was tough. There is Godric's great rune and the first keystone of the forge. All right, let us see if we can upgrade our seal. We can, not very much. Because these weapons both use somber, let's go grab some of the, the bell bearings. All right, let's buy some stones. All right, uh, let us upgrade our dragon cult seal to level seven, and I can do the same with our crag blades here. All right, let's get that final rune. So we're going to make our way over to Ferrum Azula, put this bad boy in, and let's make our way over. And there's another miner's bell bearing so we could upgrade our weapons even further if need be. Hopefully that gives us a level. All right, level up, faith 28. I wanted the lightning spear, but we are one level away. So hopefully we're able to do this fight without too much problem. I can't do my usual run and kite because I don't have anything that's super quick cast, but I do have the bolt drake talisman, so that should help a bit. Get that off, let's do the ancient lightning strike. Oh, or we're just gonna get smoked immediately. Okay. We'll play safe back up here use the ancient lightning bolts it does connect Oof, that damage is that's some pitiful damage right there that is kind of sad but that's expected with uh your class's boss all right let's see how much electrocution is doing not a lot oh boy this is a, a not fun matchup i could go for some melee here let's charge this up boom okay that is some more sizable damage so I'll gladly stick with that. Just boom. And we are taking a lot of damage, but dealing a lot at the same time. Oh, oh wow, we actually dodged that. All right, make sure to keep current applied. Boom. Nice. And we are dead. <laughs> All right, worst case scenario, I just kite him infinitely with the curse, but this shouldn't be too bad. All right, let us craft the lightning damage talisman. All right, I'm gonna sell everything I don't need so I can get that spell. <laughs> All right, level up our faith one more time, granting us access to the ancient lightning spear, which we will be utilizing heavily here to defeat this boss. All right, now is the moment of truth. Does this work how I want it to? Exactly how I want it to. <laughs> so I can just kite away toss one and just keep moving and we're gonna repeat this process until we have defeated Sira. This makes this fight a lot easier. Boom. Boom. Not a lot of damage but that don't matter baby. We ain't getting hit. Boom. Boom. Yeah it's gonna be tough defeating the uh, Draconic Tree Sentinel that's on the the bridge coming up because I think that's the armor set I want to go with mainly because I could not find the other one when I was in Lindell. Oh, yeah I just remembered Lords of the Fallen is coming out like what next week which is kind of crazy. 
Hopefully that game is good. I am absolutely ready to jump into it. And I think that uh, the way they're doing the, the world building with the multi-dimension thing, I think that could be a lot of fun if they do it right. Oh, let me know in the comments below if you plan on playing it. Dude. You just drained my whole FP bar, being annoying. Okay, we ran out of FP pots a lot quicker than expected. So this is going to be very, very tedious. So I don't think I'll include much of this because it's just going to be run me running in circles and uh, him just slowly dying to this current here. But yeah, that's, that's the game plan as of now. Okay, out of pots. This is getting shysty. Do not like this, but it's been how you expect. Pretty, pretty dang boring. But we're getting there. It's getting, getting down to it. We've got to run for at least 27 more minutes. Oh, he cut me off. Nice. There's the double that usually catches me. Boom. All right. GG, friend. Roll into you. Get some hits in. Ah. Okay. 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 Scared me for a second there. And there is the Radiant Rune of Lightning and the Glaive of the Ancients. Another weapon that I have not used, which will require a lot of strength. Is this the one that uh, Gideon was using as well? Oh yeah, it is. Oh, this, this weapon's gonna be fun. All right, so basically we just need a lot of levels for uh, strength to uh, test out those weapons. Let's pop that Radiant Rune. We got Fortis Axe, Lightning Stake, and the Ancient Lightning Storm. All right, level up, we'll get our strength to 20. I believe that allows us to get a new uh, weapon. We'll throw Vigor to 32 and the rest into Faith, bringing it up to 32 as well. Uh, it creates two Spears of Red Lightning and stabs them. Okay, so it's just like Lightning Stake, but you get to double down. So I assume it's just gonna do a lot of damage. Then we have the Ancient Lightning Storm. Summons a red bolt of lightning that scatters and spreads around the surrounding area. Charging enhances the range of the lightning bolt. All right, that's cool. Now we can equip the Glaive of the Ancients. We can use the Ancient Thunder. Clap, leap into the air and charge the blade with Ancient Lightning and slam down, releasing the lightning in all directions. Follow up with a skill attack to recharge the blade and dive into the ground creating a large thunderclap around you. The follow-up can be continuously chained. Hello? So we can just keep clapping like this? Boom. I love how he jumps into it. Like playing leapfrog. Do we get the armor now? I will attempt the armor once, but I... I don't think it's going to be very doable right now. If I'm honest, I think we just head to Radon, but I'll, I'll give it an attempt to see how much damage the Draconic Tree Sentinel is truly taking before we decide to uh, head on. And to give the weapon a fair chance, we will go and upgrade it. All right, upgrade our glaive to plus seven. That will go take on the Draconic Tree Sentinel up here. Yoink. All right, let's see how this goes. So we're gonna throw Gathering Current on, gain aggro, and then we'll get close and try the Ancient Thunder Clap. All right, that's some good damage. Okay, he does so much damage though. Hold on. Okay, we actually live that. Jump hit. Okay, okay. My bad. How's this doing? Oh, not bad actually. Oh, oh, it cancels them. Okay, that's nice. Okay, we get cooked. Okay, he's now into his second phase here. And we're just going to play our distance and spam lightning spear. We don't want to get anywhere near that. And worst case scenario, we, yeah, we can fire faster and cancel fireballs, which is super nice. Just got to stay away from that. Boom. 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 <laughs> what are you shooting at? He unaggroed. He's like had enough. Boom. 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 Come on. Boom. And ah. jump hit. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, not like this. Oh, there we go. Okay, that got really close. All right, there is the malformed dragon set, which does give faith, reduces weapon stamina cost by, by a percentage and increase weapon lightning damage. So we're going to switch right over to that set and we're going to be super heavy, heavy load. So we're going to go find a talisman to fix that, level up our faith by one and we'll craft 
the the great jar arsenal pick that up and throw it on all right time for radon all right because of this armor we have access to a lot of new spells so first we're going to throw on the vikes dragon bolts we'll throw on the lightning stake the lightning spear the lightning strike electrocution ancient lightning beacon and gathering current all right we will buff up here with bikes lightning bolt and we will see how we do just in melee just want to get off some of these thunder claps boom oh it stuns them boom oh no if we can uh i wait for stamina to fully regen boom boom if we had a huge if we had a bigger stamina bar i would just keep going that's just, it's so crazy all right let's do double stake boom boom Holy, dude, the damage on that is crazy. Okay, boom. All right, let's try it again. Boom, boom. Can we keep spamming it? Boom, boom. We can. All right, we got canceled there, but gosh, that is so strong. And obviously, the spear that we've been using, great. Uh, the lightning strike here. Oh, that radius. Execution, and we finish off stack. Oh yeah, now we're really strong. I just I just realized I didn't even have current on, so we weren't even doing maximum amounts of damage. Like, oh, this, I mean, shoot. Every class in the Convergence mod is good, but god dang. All right, we got Radon here. We're just going to run back, do the, uh, the glitch to uh, make him disappear. And then we will start running towards our boy Radon and he'll start running towards us. Going to buff up here. And then hit him with the current. Nice. Now I gotta get nice and close and hit him with the double stake. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay, he, uh, he didn't like that. All right, let's see how uh, Ash War is doing. Boom. Boom. Dang, dude, that it feels so good to use the Ash War. Okay, let's not get... Let's play our distance here. Start launching some nice spears. Chill. Boom. All right. Ash of War here. Boom. And then follow it up. Leapfrog. And now he should be able... He should be taking off here soon. Let's see how much range this has. Oh, it has nice range. I can fire at him from here. Get the dodge off. Nice. You guys just start attacking normally. Wow, this weapon does damage. Hold on. Jump. Hit. Okay, goodbye. Dang, okay. I didn't realize this weapon was like that. Oh, I just walked into it. Oh, we're fine. Get him gathering current. Back up and just start launching these spears while he's getting up there. Keep launching them. Oh, he is going in on us. Let's... Boom! Oh, we missed. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right, execution time. Wait, no, 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 get back here. No, 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 we ain't doing that. Oh gosh, okay, we're doing that. Uh, oh no, oh. <laughs> that went horribly. Ah, uh, okay, okay. This is okay, this is fine. All right, and finish off for Dawn. Dang, dude, these lightning stakes are so nice. All right, and I think we'll throw on Radon's Great Rune for that stamina boost. Okay, so we need Purdy Strength for that. Okay, all right, we just need one more Faith. Now we have all the Faith we need, and we'll start leveling up Strength so we can get the Gravelstone Arc Blades. All right, more levels into Strength. We'll throw on the Ancient Lightning Storm, craft the Scale of Gransax, throw on Radon's Great Rune. All right, let's head up to Sigur and and Morgoth. All right, throw Gathering Current and let us try to use the Ancient Lightning Storm here. So we're gonna charge it fully. Oh, wow, okay. That was huge. Solid 2K, jump hit. We're gonna go for the Thunderclap. Oh my gosh. Oh, he gripped me. Oh, he wasn't having none of that. Uh, I ain't done. Bring them cheeks here. They getting Thunderclap. Boom. That is so good. Okay. Um, let's stay alive here. Let's go for the stakes. Boom. Okay, he said no steak. All right, we're sacrificing yourself for this. Oh my gosh. That did not do any damage. All right, let's throw some lightning spears off. Doing good damage. All right, electrocution time. You're done, buddy. Time to finish him off here. Okay. 
Ah, get cooked. All right, I was getting a little dicey there. Let's head over to Morgoth. All right, level up strength twice more. Getting closer. All right, Morgoth, let's do this. All right, gathering current, you know how it is. Ow, okay, you're a sniper, my bad. All right, we're going for it. Let it off. Oh, okay. That thing has some range on it because he was not close to me at all. Let's go for it again. Boom. Oh, my pick. Holy. All right, you want to do that? I'll just start chuck. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, let's go for the double lightning stake. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you start phase shifting. Whoa. Oh my god, he got us mid-air! I, I was not expecting that. I thought I was relatively safe. My fault. Oh, the lightning spear has like a, a pulse afterwards. Nope. You're getting zapped. You're getting cooked. No, come back. Yep, you can't escape it. GG. Dang, he actually was doing work to me for a bit there. All right, level up strength. Oh, one level away. Surely we'll be able to get it off of this remembrance. There we go. Level 30 on strength, which means we can now wield the... Okay, we are heavy load. Immediately we are heavy load. Looks like I'll need to level up my endurance quite a bit. Bit. We already have the great jar arsenal. <laughs> All right, now it is time for Landsax. There she is. Give her the current. And I guess we'll just start whipping lightning spears at her face. She's going to be resisting it. Give me those toes. Oh, that did no type of damage. Oh, we're getting cooked. Uh, what if we just regular hit? Okay, yeah, melee is not, not it with this weapon at least. So we can go for double lightning stake and do no type of damage. All right, what about the ancient lightning storm? Surely, oh, okay, she, she moved. All right, let's attempt the lightning storm. Hopefully this does some sort of damage. Oh yeah, that's, that's more like it. That's what we're looking for. Nice. Good damage. RIP frames, but good damage. <laughs> it's so damn good. All right, getting close here. Let's not get cooked. We're hiding behind your foot here. And, oh, RIP. There we go. And there is Lansiax's Glaive, which I will gladly take. That thing looks sick as well. 53. Faith. All right, well, looks like we got something else to work towards. Okay, so we can get two more levels into Faith. Almost there. This might give us enough. That, that should be enough. There we go. And now we can equip the, the Glaive here. Creates a red lightning glaive and sweeps the area from above. This attack unleashes trails of lightning. Let's see if we can cheese Pursuit Axe. Well, let's find out. How far does that throw? It's seeming like not far enough. Maybe. Can I? Okay, maybe. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We might be in the clear here. It'll just be a very long fight. Oh, this one moves. Wait, never mind. I don't think we have it broken. I think I think this is just a regular fight. I never had a Placuta Sax move while I was uh, doing this maneuver. Let us try out Lanciax's Glaive here. Ooh, one nice strike. We can get close. Let's see what sort of damage we're doing from like back here. Not a lot. That is for sure. All right, so I guess we'll fight him legit. Uh, we have the ancient lightning storm. We'll see how this does. My fault. Wow. All right, my bad. Ooh, a weapon we can use for this. It was the great dragon claw. I'll go upgrade this and see what this is about. This is an actual Ash of War, and we'll also change our Great Rune over to Morgoths. All right, let's level up our steel to max, and we'll just level this up. Only plus four? Okay, we need to collect some runes. All right, we officially sold everything that we could realistically to level this thing up to plus 
Seven. Jump hit. Okay, this is doing some big damage. Jump hit. How is the Ash of War doing? I mean, it'll probably be good against anyone else, to be fair. So I can't complain too much. Boom. 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 Okay, you got poise broken. We're not even gonna bother to try to go around. Boom. This thing is a very cool weapon. I've never actually uh, used this thing either. Jump hit. Oh my gosh. So I guess we'll just go for our jump attacks. Jump hit. Nice. Just on cue, we get a poise break. Let's get this off. Boom. Good damage. Good damage. Let's charge this up. The Ancient Lightning Storm. Okay. 1.6k. Not bad at all. Oh, get me over here. Let's try our heavy attack here. See how this looks. Oh, okay. Like sends out a shockwave of uh, lightning. Nice, boys break. Boom. Boom. Nice. Give you that current. Jump hit. Wait, that didn't, that current didn't connect. No, I don't want this. Jump hit. Okay, that was the scariest buff I could have done. Let me go for another one. Okay. Jump hit. Uh-oh. Oh, we didn't make it. Oh, did we just die? Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Uh, that's annoying. Boom. 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 Not a lot of damage, but I'll take it. Boom. Ow. Ow, my bad. Oh, we got a poise break. Oh, we're not getting to that. Okay. Just start smacking away at his tail here because he is bound to take off soon. Oh, we don't have healing. Oh, okay. Oh, this is very sketchy. Oh, God. Oh, no. I'm playing this super cautiously. Back up. Let that off. All right, just take off. We're not getting anywhere near them. All right, we're just playing distance. All right, we have FP, so we're gonna utilize it. Oh no, I think I just die now. Okay, okay, don't mess up, don't mess up. Okay. Throw that off. Okay. Just keep yucking them. Just keep chucking them. Oh no. Oh god, no, you weren't supposed to- ah! Come to me. Gosh, dude. Oh, come on. Let's get a poise break. That's huge. All right. Get off here. Boom. Big damage. All right. Jump. Hit. Uh-oh. Boom. Boom. Okay. Okay. We're so close. No, no, no. Where are you going? I don't have pots for you to be pulling off this kind of crap. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. That's fine. We live. And you die. Right here. There we go. Whew. Not gonna lie. I struggled a lot on uh, this boss. Having to fight him with, without cheesing him using lightning. That was not easy. But hopefully this will allow us to equip the other sword. We'll just put endurance to 16. And let's see. Oh, we are medium load with these... Weapons now. All right, the Ash of War. Slam the blades into the ground and then sweep them forward, releasing a wide arc of ancient lightning. Follow up with a skill attack to perform a forward somersault and slam both blades into the ground, releasing a large shockwave. All right, so we got that into this. Oh my God. We gotta level this bad boy up. Allow us to strengthen this until we can't anymore, getting it up to plus nine. There they are. These things look sick. So we can get Eerie of the Dragon God, which 
cost me 60 faith. And then we have the Dragon King's Crag Blade, which I need four more decks for. I think we'll go for the spell, which I'm not even sure what it does. I don't think this is in base game. I don't know though. Uh, call down a giant stake of red lightning. Is that his nuke? Yeah, that's his nuke. We literally have access to his nuke. What? Let's hit our buffs, the dragon bolt, and the armament. We will be able to apply gathering current. Give him current here. Nice. It reached. Let's actually try the glaive on someone who is not. Okay. Uh, I feel like I have to get closer for it to like to connect. Connect. Like, let's see. With this. Yeah. There we go. That's some better damage. All right. Let's try out the ash of war. So we got this. We got this slam. Oh my god, that did damage. Let's try to get the full Ash of War off here. So we get that. Oh my god. And then the Somersault. That sent him into a phase shift. That is massive. All right. Play very careful here. Give him Gathering Current. Jump hit. Jump hit with both of them. That does so much damage. Jump hit. Gosh, dang, dude. All right. Let's hit the Ash of War. Okay, we actually live that, which is nice. Jump, hit, and finish off Malekith here. These blades are so strong. Like, this is so good. Oh, love it. All right, let's level up Faith some more. All right, we need three more levels of Faith to have access to the uh, nuke. Let's go bully the fire giant real quick. All right, let's go for the Ash of War here. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy, dude. They don't stand a chance. <laughs> what? That is crazy damage, dude. Oh, and we just got smacked up. That's what happens when we uh, aren't careful. Jump hit. Okay, right into a phase shift here. And we are absolutely going to abuse his hands. So we'll apply the current. And then we'll hit this Ash of War here. Boom. Oh my god, we sent ourselves into the flames. That is not where we wanted to be. Jump hit. Oh my god, they just do solid damage on their own. These things are sick. Uh, I guess I'll uh, use some spells. Don't want to forget about those. Wow, that cooked him. That's crazy. This class overall just good. You can't go wrong. Like the spells are great. The weapons are amazing. Jump hit. All right, and we should be able to finish him off here. Yeah, because it's just a way too damn strong. <laughs> Just wow, dude. These classes, uh, they get me every time. We have enough faith to equip the last spell. All right, so we'll throw on the Dragon God. We'll throw on the Glaive, the Lightning Storm, and then the, the stakes. We need 20 decks, so four more decks. Can we afford that? Probably not. No, we're getting close. We're getting close to using the other weapon. I think we'll use that to close out the game. I'm ready. All right, buff up, and let's head in. Uh, let's see if we can actually apply the uh, current to him. All right. Oh my god, is that deflected? Oh, he, okay, there we go. I was going to say, can he just not get it yet? Let's try this. Oh my god. We actually summoned the nuke. Let's hit him with the Ash of War. I... Oof. <laughs> oh my god. Get freaking owned, dude. <laughs> that was super sick. What? Because that just stuns him. Like, it's so... <laughs> like, what are we doing here? Like, let's be for real. Whoa. This isn't real. Okay, we, we just got absolutely clapped. But what type of damage? <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're so dead. There we go. Hopefully that'll give us the levels we need to equip the other swords. We can try that one out. All right, level up dex to 20 and we'll get bigger up. All right, let's level up the Dragon King's Crag Blade. Uh, we, yeah, we're very broke. So we only get it to plus six, but that'll be okay. Ooh, this thing matches our armor. It's kind of small. Thunder Cloud Form. Temporarily transform into a red 
thundercloud and fly through. Huh? Oh my god, it's his, like, his move. His, yeah, he, this. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go try it out on Godfrey. So immediately, we want to debuff him and back up and use this. If he'll allow us to get that off. Oh, that's huge. I'll take that hit any day of the week. Alright, let's try out this. Oh my god, I don't even know what's going on. Oh, we are so dead. I mean understandable. Hey, hey, we did a lot of damage there. That's for sure. We should probably only use the Ash of War when we have like a poise, poise break or something along those lines. Alright, we'll get this off again though. That is nice. And we'll actually use this as well. Oh yeah. Holy dude. <laughs> the nuke is a nuking. Dude, boom. Boom. <laughs> Oh, I've, I'm having too much fun with these spells. They are so good. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Alright, we're going for it. Oh, it phase shifted him. Oh, where are we going to appear? Oh, okay. Nope. I'll smack you with this, though. Oh, yeah. Get me out of there. Alright, give him the current. Nice. Hit him with this. Nice. Ow. Oh, he does so much damage. Oh god, I'm risking it all. I'm risking it all. <laughs> that looks so cool. I can't even be mad. That looks sick when he was jumping at me with that going off behind him. Oh. Okay, nice. Poke. Poke. Alright, our weapon doesn't do a lot of damage, but, you know, it's not leveled up at all. We're getting scooped. And we're fine. Alright, let's use this. The Ancient Lightning Storm. Oh, we almost got it all the way off. All right, we won't charge it as much. <laughs> it still does so much damage. Boom. Boom. All right, we're going for this then. Might as well get the nuke off. Ah, okay. Oh, he's going to have iframes when it goes off. Wait. Yeah. Dang it, dude. All right, let's go for the double stake. Boom. Boom. Nice. All right, going for it again. Boom. Boom. And we should be able to... Oh! We hopped the sweep! He did the leg sweep and we were over it. That's sick. Dang. Get owned, dude. Get absolutely ruined. All right. That weapon was cool and all, but we're going back to the big, big ol' arc blades. All right. Level up our vigor up to 37 and let us bully the Rata Beast. All right. We'll buff and then we'll give him the debuff and then just go in for melee. There we go. Jump hit. <laughs> Jump it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's go for this. Boom. The follow up. <laughs> uh, we probably die here, but that was so worth. Okay. Just knowing how much damage that does. <laughs> what the heck, man. All right. Jump hit. Boom. Go for the Ash of War here. Oh, we connect it. We get this follow up off. And we get deleted. All right, follow up, can't do. Learning that slowly. Not on him at least. Oh, two. Uh, we killed Radagon. I was straight vibing. All right, reapply the current, make our way to the back and hit him with the Ash of War. Boom, into the other one. Oh. God dang! Solid 7k. Jump hit! Jump hit! We're trying to play for a poise break so then we can just absolutely abuse the Ash of War, but we might just end up killing him before we even get the poise break at this point. Alright, reapply this. Jump hit! Alright, let's use the Ash of War here. Nice! Okay, we can't get the full thing off. That's a okay. I actually want to try to uh, nuke the Elden Beast, so we'll see how this goes. Ow, okay. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Good damage. Go for the Ash of War here. <laughs> it's just so oh, good. And it has range, like that's... Oh gosh. Crazy. Oh, you want to sit back there? Alright, you're getting the nuke then. 
Yeah. Enjoy the nuke. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, we're fine. Oh, that did not do as much as I expected, to be honest. I mean, it was still good damage, don't get me wrong. But compared to, you know, this, it's. that's baby damage. Boom! Jump hit! And we have defeated the Elden Beast. Which means we have defeated the Convergence mod as the Dragon Cultist class. Obviously, it is one of the more broken classes. And, uh, and yeah, I think I'm gonna hold off on... We're holding off on the Meteorite class and the Frenzied class until we do get the next update for Convergence mod. Uh, I've seen a lot of requests for the Perfumer class, so that will be upcoming. But yeah, I appreciate everyone for watching. We are so close to 15,000 subscribers, so make sure to subscribe, check out the merch if you haven't. And yeah, I will uh, see you guys in the next video. It has been Curtis the Cactus, guys.